All right, so we're going to mess with the multi bounce shell. So, yeah, get the multi bounce shell. I put everything right in here. So, you're going to want to uh, go to your Pixie folder, go to Sprites, and then just copy these two files into the Sprites folder. And so, you get your uh, assembly file and your config file. Your assembly file is the one that you can make changes to. So let's say number of hits. It's, it goes from 1, 2, 3, 4 to infinite. 5, if you put 5 here, it's infinite. So we'll leave it at 4 for now. Um, that's really about all you need to change. I'll show you something else later. But for now, that's all you need to change for that. So we can close out of that. So now, take your config file and copy the file name. Then go back to your main folder in Pixie. Open up your list. I've already got stuff in here from before, but go... Uh, I started at 10. I think you can start at 1, I'm not sure, but I just started at 10. But I'm down to 34, number 34, so we'll do that. And then paste... Uh, that file name in there. Save it. Mm, we don't have to be in there anymore. So now all you need to do is drag the uh, the ROM you're working with into your Pixie folder, and then open up Pixie.exe. Drag your ROM onto it. Hit enter. It should say that everything applied successfully. Hopefully. If you hit enter again, it'll uh, close that out. Now I take all this stuff, and I like to have it all in my in just a main folder. So I, I, I bring it back here to the main folder, but that's just me. So now we should have our sprite in there. <clears throat> so then you open up, uh, let me delete this old one, open up your Lunar Magic, um, and then you're, you're going to want to be sp in the sprite editing mode. You, I know you know a lot all this already, I'm just going over it's, it, you know, everything. And then go to Edit, Insert Manual, and that number that we made for it in our list here, 34. I'm going to use 34. You're going to use whatever you put in right there, 34. Our extra bits, you got to set that. You got to set that to 2. There you go. There's our uh, multi bounce shell. We'll save it. Take a look real quick, see if we've got. Uh, Four, uh, four bounces on this. Two, three, four. Okay. So yeah, now let's say we want to do... Uh, let me just minimize that. Let's say we want to do uh, infinite bounces or something else. Like I say, you just come back here to your ASM file. For infinite, we're going to put five here. Save. And just do the whole process again. We're going to bring our SMW uh, file over here, or my S it's called mine is called SMW. The your ROM hack, your ROM file. Um, open up Pixie.exe. Drag it over. Make sure everything applied successfully again. And I like to move everything back here. Now we're going to reopen that because we made changes to it. So you got to reopen it. So now we should have an infinite shell. Yep, 
Pretty damn infinite. Okay. So, you might be wondering why there's that graphical glitch right there in the top uh, top left corner. Well, that's what I didn't show you last time that I'll show you now. So if you want, that, that graphical glitch is where the timer, or the, uh, the amount of bounces is usually at. So if you want that in there, what you need to do, remember we didn't mess with, this is, a, this is that graphics file. So let's just open it up and take a look at what it is real quick. We'll open it up in YYCHR. Let's change the palette a little bit so you can see it. So all that's really changed is this and an infinite symbol. That's what the uh, whoever made this uh, uh, custom sprite did. He just it, four three two one infinite. So what you need to do if you want to if you want to use that and by using that you're going to waste space. You're going to waste, essentially, uh, these tiles. I guess not waste them, but you're not going to be able to use them for, like, enemies or other sprites, essentially. But if you do want to put that in there, I'll show you how to do that. So if you come to, uh, go to your EX graphics folder. I've already got stuff in here, looks like. 88 was my last one, so we're, we'll name this um, 89. And this XX, that's for you to rename whatever you want. So I'm going to put 89. So we'll come back here, uh, and we're going to quick insert graphics and extra graphics to ROM. So we're going to click that. Going to come over here to this uh, poison red looking mushroom. Enable bypass. And if you look, it, sh it they usually tell you um, the graphics file uses SP4. So here in SP4, oh, I already put it in. So I'm using 89, so I put 89 in there. Hit OK. We'll save it. And that should work. Let me see what it looks like. Yeah, there's an infinite symbol. I'll show you what the uh, the other one looks like real quick, just like uh, the 4 or the 3. So like I say, you come in here at Sprites. Multibound shell.asm. Take it down to four, save it. Bring your ROM file over here, Pixie. Successful. Okay, so we should have a, a four bounce shell. So now we're going to reload it. And look at that, four bounce shell. Okay, I died. <laughs> we got a four bounce shell. Three, two, one, bam! Now, I'll show you if you don't want to waste um, if you don't want to waste that graphical space and you don't care about the timer I'll show you something else you can do so if you come in come into sprites in your pixie go to your multi bounce ASM we're going to come all the way down here. I did this the other day, so I, but it was 
a few weeks ago, so let me remember. Okay, so we just we, we down here in graphics, we just we're we're just gonna delete. We could comment it out, but let's for this for this these purposes, I'm just gonna delete it, delete it all the way down to the shell tile, and then I'll save it. And you're going to do the exact same thing again. Pixie.exe. All right, so we should have no number there anymore. And we won't have to worry, and then you, you won't have to worry about changing this. You could change this back to the old 9, which is what it used to be. You can remove that. We don't need to be using extra graphics anymore. So that'll prove that it, that it works, because we're not using any extra graphics anymore. We'll save it. Oh, I didn't reload. Maybe I should have reloaded. Let me see if did that do it? Yeah, that did it still. Okay, yeah. So what was this? Was this our four? So this should still be four. One, two, three, four. But as you can see, there's no uh, there's no graphics in the uh, top right. Um, that's about it, really. That is about it. Trying to think, is was there anything else? Oh, let me show you the one F zero thing again. So for the one F zero, it's just something that allows uh, it allows sprites to to be on it, but not Mario, for lack of a better way of putting it. And you can do that by going here. Now you don't you never want to mess. You never want to add anything you know up here where the main stuff where this stuff is. I always start like, you know, way down here like a few pages down or so when you're adding uh adding uh, new tiles in. But anyway, what you're going to want to do, I'll delete this one real quick. We'll start fresh. So let's make a, let's make it out of this right here. So we're going to select that, bring it, let's just bring it all the way down here. Uh, right click is to copy, or I mean to paste. Left click, copy, right click, paste. Now we're going to, it's real simple, we're just going to make this act as 1F0. And then you just got to save it. We'll make a big old long line of this. And this will work exactly the same way as the other one did. So yeah, uh, I think that's basically what I showed you the other day. Uh, so if you have any other questions, yeah, always hit me up, man. I pre I like helping you. Sorry, I'm tired. Like I say, I, I uh, got called out this morning. So, um, but yeah, I figured just this video might help, and I'd put it on YouTube, and then you could just rewatch it whenever. All right, peace.